Hello and welcome to High Performance Computing with C. I'm your host, Benjamin Keller. Just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I'm a Humboldt Fellow at the University of Heidelberg. I got my PhD at McMaster University in 2017. I'm an astrophysicist, and that means that I study how things in the universe evolve and change over time. In particular, I use high-performance supercomputer simulations to see how galaxies grow and accrete gas and stars over the entire lifetime of the universe. I'm a core developer for a number of scientific computing packages, and I've been working as a developer for scientific computing, both for observational astronomy as well as high-performance simulations, for about 10 years now. You can find links to some of my projects, my papers, as well as the code that will be used for this course off of my website at project2501.ca. In this course, we're going to be learning about everything you might need to know. Use computers to solve mathematical problems that you might encounter in a science, engineering, or statistical environment. We're going to be learning in particular how to write fast code. So we'll begin by looking at some basic numerical methods, sort of core algorithms that a scientific computing library might include. Things like numerical integration, Monte Carlo methods, etc. Then we're going to take a look in two sections about optimizing our code for performance and accuracy. In particular, with a focus on how modern hardware design and what the CPU is actually doing at a hardware level impacts the speed and accuracy of our programs. Finally, we're going to take a look at how to take advantage of new architectures, parallel multi-core machines, as well as distributed supercomputer clusters, as well as accelerated hardware with like using graphics processors and NVIDIA's CUDA library to extend our algorithms for bigger and bigger problems. Really what this course is going to teach you is a little bit of numerical algorithms, how to optimize those algorithms for performance, and then how to extend those algorithms to spread across multiple cores, multiple computers, and acceleration platforms like GPGPU graphics processing units. So these three things will be sort of the foundation of this course. By the end, you should be able to write yourself a program that's fast and that runs on all kinds of different parallel hardware. And this will let you solve problems faster, bigger problems than you would have otherwise. So the prerequisites for this course are a background with some mathematical familiarity. So some first year math courses, you should be familiar with some calculus principles like integration and differentiation, complex numbers, as well as some linear algebra. You should know what a matrix and a vector is. You should also have some experience with C-like programming languages. You don't have to be an expert in C, but you should be familiar with the C syntax. And if you're not very familiar with C, you should be quite familiar with some other programming language. So if you're a Python expert, you should be able to pick this up fairly quickly. And finally, since we're going to be working in Linux command line, you should have some familiarity with a Unix command line, a bash shell on Mac OS, or in Linux, or in free or open BSD. We're going to be using GCC to compile our code and VI to edit it. So most of the examples in this course are going to be working in the command line. So you should be able to move around in the command line. You should be able to read a simple program and do some basic math. 